We'll fight on this recipe video. Get on with it, I'm hungry. <laughs> and then people will be upset that we fought on this recipe video. Those vegan guys. Hi, I'm Paul. I'm Jason. <laughs> Together we are Those, Those Vegan, vegan guys. guys. Not so long back, could have been a few months, can't quite remember, uh, we did a live um, Sunday in the kitchen. We did. And uh, we tried to um, recapture and veganise an old pizza that we used to have. Yes. Uh, and uh, it turned out it was amazing. Uh, and so we've had it ever since and then uh, people have said would you make that into just a separate re little recipe vlog so that is what this is do you want to tell them what it is I'm very excited because genuinely this is like one of my favorite things in the land in the in the land across all <laughs> lands um, it's essentially French stick with a made into a fabulous pizza yeah um all kinds of bits and bobs on it but we're going to take you through that yeah so we used to make it when we were vegetarians with gorge cheese with a soft gorge cheese and a hard gorge cheese um so in a moment i will take you through what we make it with now uh, and then we'll take you through the process it's pretty simple and oh my God, it's delicious. Well worth the effort. And also, like lots of stuff that Paul does, of course, with this kind of thing, you can jazz it up and put your own personal spin on it. Absolutely. You can make it completely different. This is how we make it. How you make it makes it yours. Of course. Uh, so let's get on with our French bread slash baguette Mediterranean style pizza. Now, uh, we use for this particular pizza these small baguettes from Morrison's. Um, we've already checked the ingredients with the ingredients book down there. Basically, it's allergens, wheat, and soy may contain. Um, but they're lovely to make into this pizza. So, we've got one of them each, which Jason's going to cut for us shortly and make them into flat sided pizza things um, we've got two fresh tomatoes which i'm going to thinly slice i've got a whole bunch of garlic uh, and some frozen chilies i always keep my chilies frozen in the freezer if you buy finger chilies they keep so well in the freezer you just take them out and use them straight from the freezer um, a little bit of extra virgin olive oil and these are the cheeses that we are now using for this pizza and we highly recommend but you can use anything you want so first we've got the Sainsbury's free from garlic and herb spread cheese that's the soft cheese we use then we've got the Sainsbury's free from Greek style cheese which is the hard cheese we use. It's a fabulous combo. Uh, so this one is gonna be grated, obviously, and this one is gonna be spread. So I'm gonna get on with making the oil, which is extra virgin olive oil with crushed fresh garlic and chopped fresh chili in it, while Jason cuts the bread, and then we shall be back with you. Grand pause. <laughs> You use plenty of garlic in the oil that we drizzle on the bread. It becomes a kind of garlic bread pizza. Uh, and it, it's so perfect, it really is. It all adds to the splendour of the final product. <laughs> it really does, doesn't it? Every little bit of it is all important. But we like a, quite a lot of garlic, don't we? Mm-hmm. Yeah, will you pass me a couple of chilies um, out of the freezer? Yeah. There's the long green ones and the short red ones. Just want one long green one and about three short red ones. So, frozen chilies. Um, but because they're frozen, you can cut them really, really finely. Of course, 
you don't have to put the chilies in. Um, if, if you're not a spice fan, you can leave the chilies out and just do the garlic. If you're not a garlic fan, leave it all out and just do the oil. But basically now, Oh, by the way, this is not, I repeat, this is not a healthy thing at all. Delicious? Yes. Healthy? No. no. Not at all. That's why we only have it about once every, what, two or three weeks? Would you yeah, say? If, if that, really. Yeah. It's one of our treat meals, isn't it? Mm hmm. So, when Jason's cut the bread, I'll show you what we do with this beautiful oil. There's oil, and then there's TVG oil. <laughs> I'm just gonna slice these tomatoes really thin because each slice of the bread that Jason just lovingly cut uh, needs to have tomato slices on it. That's the kind of tomato element of these um, pizzas. That's all my slices and then these bits, just because I don't like waste, the ends, even the stalk bit, I don't mind. Cut up into tiny little pieces, like little squares. And they go in the oil. Well, it'd be rude not to, as we often say. Yeah, indeed. Uh, and now we're ready to start oiling the bread. So now comes the filth. Basically we're just drizzling the oil with all those bits in along each slice of bread. We're going to use the, all of it and then we use the back of the spoon to just kind of spread it. Spread, spread, spread. Try and get it to all the edges because you want that uh, garlic oil making that bread nice and crispy. That's what you want, Martha. And then we start layering our. Ooh, cut all this off, left, Jason. What a mess. Cut all this mess. What a messy boy. A messy boy, Paul. Doesn't matter that it goes all over the floor. Messy boy. Has it just gone all over the floor? Or did you put your hand under when you wiped? No, it's a absorbent cloth and it was a liquid. Okay. You silly, silly boy. Trying to embarrass me on the YouTube. I'll edit it and I'll see what goes on the floor and what goes in the cloth. We'll fight on this recipe video. Get on with it, I'm hungry. <laughs> and then people will be upset that we fought on this recipe video. I might end up needing another tomato. No, I'm definitely going to need another tomato, Jason. I'm afraid one more tomato is required. Oh, you know what? What? The, the, these are these are these will all have more tomato on than they normally do. There's not going to be any any gap at all. See? Fabulous. So. We'll 
cut out, put that over the top. Cut it up into bits, put it over the top. So there you go. We've got our oil with our garlic and our chilli on the bread, rubbed in with the back of the spoon. We've got our fresh slices of tomato. And what you want to do now, because the next step will move the tomato if it's not like securely down. So just press every slice of tomato down into the bread so it gets some uh, leverage. Because the next step is this. Oh, we haven't mentioned by the way, but the oven is preheating right now to 200 fan oven. Um, so we're just getting splodges of our cream cheese and try and, do you see what, what, what happened there? That tomato moved because it thought it was summer. And that's what happens when you're doing this bit. It just gets a little bit messy. But we're trying to kind of use the cream cheese a bit like, um, you know, the stuff you put in between tiles? A grout. Is it called a grout? Yes, uh, I think so, yeah. Oh, do excuse the colour of my um, greaseproof paper, by the way. I reuse until I can no longer reuse. It's been in the oven. There's now on it, you know what I mean? Oh, there's anything wrong with that. It's just fine. There we go. What are you, what are you eating? There's a tiny little dice of tomato that's fallen off the side. I, will, I won't have it. Mm. I won't have this. Ooh. It's a lovely little precursor there. Garlic tomato with oily goodness. And in a moment, Jason, when we've done this, mm -hmm. I would be very grateful if you would uh, grate. Oh, of course, yeah. The um, the hard block of gorge cheese. We've also tried the uh, Via Life Greek style cheese on these pizzas, and it works just as well. So if you can get your whole yeah. If you can get your hands on that and you don't often visit Sainsbury's, just buy any vegan cream cheese. One with garlic and herbs is perfect. And get the Bio Life Greek style cheese. And they now are all ready for the hard cheese. I'm just, uh, I've got the ends of the tomato, you know the extra tomato Jason got out. So I'm just, I don't normally do this, but I thought, well, let's be fancy. I'm showing my friends. So, you know, I'm just sprinkling the bits of tomato. Waste not, want not, as they say. There we go. Fabulous. So Jason's just grated the Greek style cheese about three quarters of the block uh, ish which means we've got a bit left to make a greek salad at some point in the because it keeps quite well so this is what we sprinkle obvs all over the tops of these and now you can use a different you could use via life extra mature cheddar uh, you know you could use morrison's smoked cheese anything you wanted really um, we just love that this imitates those goat cheese style pizzas we used to have as vegetarians but in a completely vegan way mm -hmm. um, which of course we love it's as we said at the start it's very indulgent isn't it it's a, it's a treat uh, and I suppose if you really wanted to and if you wanted to go a little bit healthier with it and still have a lot of the flavour and the crunch and the texture um, you could just have use the spreadable and just do without the other cheese but, yeah. yeah, I know, I'm with you on that one. I think as a treat, you've got to go all out, haven't you, really? With yeah, this. it's not something you're going to have on a weekly basis. But for a treat, it's a really, really delicious meal. And you know what? With the world the way it is at the moment, we all deserve a bit of bloody delicious without having to worry too much about it. And I never worry about it if it's never harmed any animals, and none of this has. So... I'm going to get these in the oven. Now, every oven's different, which is why I'm always like this when it comes to times. Ours 
we'll have these done in about 25 minutes on 200 yours might be quicker it might take a bit longer but we'll show you these when they come out so that you know what you're looking for uh, luckily this cheese does brown a little bit on top so in the oven they go So, as you saw, that is them out of the oven. They did take about 20, 25 minutes. Um, and uh, for us personally, the final steps are fresh cracked black pepper and huge amounts of wild rocket. In fact, the last time we had these pizzas, oh no, I bought the rocket the time before that when Kay was round. We had our own homegrown rocket from the allotment. We did. And it was fantastic, wasn't it? Yes, although I'm sure this will be uh, almost as good. Oh, rocket's just an amazing vegetable, yeah. you know, salad leaf. Regardless. Very excited about this. Yeah, we've not had it for a while, have we? Um, and thank you for those of you, to those of you that showed interest in making this into a separate rep recipe vlog, uh, other than the live we made them in, because that was like an hour and a half long. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully you've enjoyed this one. Um, we, without a doubt, are going to obviously enjoy this, but it wouldn't be a recipe vlog without just having a quick taste test at the end. Absolutely. And I'm fully determined to. I hope this isn't going to be too hot. I don't think it will be if you if you stick to an end bit and get some rocket with it. Oh, no. Mm. Mm. Guys, it's so good. Mm. It's like a mix between pizza, garlic bread, and Mediterranean flavours. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Actually, it's just beautiful. So, we hope you've enjoyed this little guide how to make these baguette pizzas. I'm sure that you'll be able to find uh, a vegan suitable baguette near you and possibly some kind of Greek style or Mediterranean style cheese to make these with. Um, we're gonna smash this right to our faces now and enjoy our dinner, but uh, let us know below if you make it and if you enjoy it. And uh, thank you for watching. Yeah, thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this, you know what I'm gonna ask. It helps us tremendously. Do consider giving the video a thumbs up. Um, it's the easiest and best way that you can help the channel, help us, get the vegan message out there, down to earth veganism. And if you haven't already, please also consider giving the channel a subscribe. I love you, mister. I love you. <laughs> well remembered to say all that. <laughs> love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again very soon. And until then, please be excellent to yourselves and each other. Enjoy your food and make it vegan. Bye, loves. <laughs> so good, so good. <laughs>